Hey folks and welcome back to another one. I hope you're all doing well. With ice fishing season just around the corner and with people heading to the stores to purchase their favorite lures and to search for new baits, I figured I would bring you guys a quick video on my most favorite lures for lake trout. Lakers, lake char, Mackinac, and gray trout. Those are some of the names that are commonly associated with the lake trout. They are an amazingly fun freshwater char that are commonly found in a lot of deep lakes in Canada and the northern United States. Lake trout are easily one of my most favorite fish to catch. They're so aggressive and will absolutely crush your lures all day long. But they can also be super timid depending on their activity. Barometric pressure, water temperature, sunny, cloudy. A lot of different possibilities that will affect the outcome of your day. Optimal lake trout depths are anywhere from 50 to 70 feet of water. But depending on the lake that you're fishing, and especially during the winter time, you can catch those fish pretty much anywhere on the lake. Anywhere from four or five feet of water, all the way up to 100 feet of water. A lot of lake trout that I've caught have been in that 20 foot range, and I've been able to see walleye swimming around with those lakers. And I've even caught them up in that four foot range. You know, jigging nice and close to shore. A lot of lakers like to push ciscos, smelts, and gobies up to those shallows to feed on them. A lot of great places to fish for lake trout. You can fish in those deep bays that gradually descend into deeper water, even off of just regular shorelines that gradually descend where there's a lot of boulders, a lot of bait fish. Points are really good where it also drops off pretty quick. Uh, Mid-lake humps are very good as well, uh, where it comes up all around a hump, deep water coming up to like 25, 30 feet of water onto that hump. Those fish will cruise that edge, waiting for bait fish, even pushing bait fish on top of it. So those are some great locations to look. And I would highly recommend getting a depth chart to look at the lake that you plan to fish because you can easily pick out these spots ahead of time to go check them out rather than exploring the lake randomly, not really knowing where you're going. And you know, it's always best to be safe um, because you never know where there might be some narrows, open water, uh, rapids, anything like that, that might mess up your day. Chumming your holes is also a super effective method. Uh, to me, it's really essential. Chumming your holes will bring in a lot of those aggressive fish while it's falling you'll, you'll see them swooping in pounding those dead baits coming down and once they're on the bottom a lot of timid lake trout or shy lake trout passive lake trout whatever you want to refer to them as they will come up and they'll eat those dead minnows right off the bottom having that chum on the bottom of your hole will bring in those fish it'll keep them around keep them active keep them feeding but it also bring in whitefish and burbot which is really nice to have some you know diversity in what you're catching because lake trout burbot and whitefish are all found in the same depth of water so it makes it really fun when you get those different species all at once. Lakers are a great fish to catch and put up such a good fight but a lot of anglers actually don't know what to use for these fish. That's why in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lures for lake trout. Now most often than not anglers will tend to use those traditional spoons to vertical jig through the ice when fishing for lake trout. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be going off the board a little bit and showing you guys some different types of baits that you can try that I assure you are far more superior than a traditional spoon to catch lake trout. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you wanna fish for lake trout, there's four main colors that you wanna to stick to. That'll be silver, gold, white, and chartreuse. Chartreuse if you're fishing a little bit murkier because it's kind of, it'll have a little bit more vibrancy to the color of your lure. But matching the bait fish in the lake you plan to fish is a big key factor. So if you're fishing in a lake with ciscos, smelts, you're gonna wanna use that silvery color. Now that I'm done explaining to you folks all about lake trout, let's get right into the video so I can show you guys some lures. Number one, we got the Seabill, Seabile, I don't know how to say it, the Vibrato. That is what it's commonly known as by most people. It is a common lure that is used on Lake Simcoe down in Barrie, Ontario. And that's where I figured out how to use this lure. And I never, ever found a lure as good as this one. The Vibrato is hands down my most favorite lure to catch Lakers on. It has the most amazing action out of any lure that I've ever used. Ripping this bait near the bottom creates a massive wave of vibration that attracts all species in from afar. And once you're done ripping it and you let it fall, it will flutter all the way back down, letting it sit in that mud and then repeating. And even doing it just a little bit off the bottom is a great attractant for lake trout. I've had lulls for up to two hours and as soon as I use this vibrato within five minutes, I'm pulling in tons of fish of all species, lake trout, whitefish, burbot, walleye, everything. These fish love the vibrato. This is a very aggressive lure though. So if you're planning on fishing some slower mood fish, 
you know, they're not very aggressive, you're probably gonna wanna double fist another rod and you're gonna wanna use a more finesse style bait that will catch those fish when they're not very aggressive. But no matter what, even if they're not aggressive, they're still gonna be attracted by this bait. So it acts as a great attractant, but also a great lure to catch fish on. But having that secondary rod in there with you, you know, with a nice finesse bait, is always good to have, and it will get the job done on those fish that aren't gonna hit the vibrato. Number two is a Northland Thumper Jig Strike King Rage Swimmer Combo. Now, before I get into this, I will say that you can use pretty much any paddle tail bait along with any jig head or jig with a willow leaf on it or clover leaf. But this is the one that I've found for me that works the best. You can get them in all different sizes depending on the size of fish you're targeting. Now this is a bait that most people have probably used once in their lives, you know, for whatever species, lake trout, um, bass, pike, etc. But personally, I have actually never seen anybody use this for lake trout, even though I'm sure there are people out there that do. This bait is great for targeting those aggressive fish, but also for passive fish. It acts as a very good change up lure if you want to refer to it as that, where you can use it very aggressively, ripping it up and down in the water column, or you can also just jig it on the spot. It's got great action. That flasher on the bottom really brings in those fish and the paddle tail creates a lot of vibration. And a big thing for Lakers is they really like to chase lures. So if they're in an aggressive mood and you're re like reeling that lure up all the way, that paddle tail is just going to be bobbing the whole time and it'll create an instant reaction strike because they're assuming, you know, this is a Cisco or a smelt trying to escape and they're not going to let that happen. Number three is the 10,000 fish death stalker. Now this is perhaps an unusual bait to most people. They have probably actually never seen this lure before. You can get it on the Mystery Tackle Box website, Carl's Tackle Shop. It came in with one of my Mystery Tackle Boxes, so I've had it for quite a long time. But it's actually such a great lure for lake trout, and I'm going to get right into this lure for you guys so you can understand what I'm telling you about. So kind of like the Vibrato, this is like a blade bait style lure, but it's also got that willow leaf on the back. So it's got some extra action, extra flash, and it can really attract fish in from afar, whether it's using the flasher or the, from the blade vibrating. Now the only downfall with this lure is that it does have that one treble hook and that's it. There's no other treble hook on this lure. But I will say right now that through all the fish that I've caught on this lure, I have never once missed a hook up with a fish. Sure, having a treble on the back might be a little bit better, but for me, I find that having the one treble hook has no issues. If a fish is big enough, it's gonna inhale this lure like nothing. And it seems actually that all the fish that have, have you know, attacked this lure actually come up and they actually bite the hook and around the head, probably because there's eyes there and a lot of that shine that's coming there. But I'm sure they will target that willow leaf in the back, but it's not as shiny as the actual bait itself. And I will say to people who are looking to target lake trout, a big thing for lake trout fishing is if it's cloudy or sunny. So if it's cloudy, you're gonna wanna use a gold shine lure. So that's why in this case, this is more visible in the, in the darker times, cloudy. Um, so I always wanna say to people, have a gold lure inside your tackle box if you're fishing for Lakers. Uh, if it's sunny, silver is always the better option, but using a gold lure when it's nice and cloudy outside will guarantee catch you more fish in my opinion than a silver lure. At least that's what I've found over the years. But I highly recommend using this lure. People, please give it a shot. I'm telling you, this lure catches so many fish and it's a lot fun. It's a lot more fun to fish with lures like these, I find, than a traditional lure because, you know, you can do so many different things with this. And it also has those two holes on the top, by the way. Uh, if you hook it on the back one, it hooks more. Uh, if you tie it on the back one, it sits more horizontally. And if you hook it in the front one, it sits more diagonally. A lot of the weight is distributed to the head of this lure. So when you rip it up, it'll, it'll come up like this. But when you drop it down, it'll go head first and that willow leaf will follow behind it and it'll flutter like a tail. So it really attracts a lot of fish in. And I highly recommend trying it out. Now, number four, we have the Williams Ice Jig. Now there are many options for a traditional spoon out there, but for me, the Williams Ice Jig is number one on the list. It has a very darty, lively action that really manipulates a dying bait fish, wounded bait fish, or even manipulating an escaping bait fish. There are a range of colors you can buy, but I chose to buy the one that has the chartreuse dots with a little bit of glow on there. I find it works better, this lure, when it's a little bit darker conditions, closer to sunrise and sunset, having that glow makes it so those fish can at least see the bait a little bit better. And I always like to put a trailer or a stinger hook on there 
and put like a dead emerald shiner or something on there. So when I'm jigging, it has a little bit more uh, or a real taste to it or a real sight. So your hookup ratios will be a lot better if you use that uh, trailer hook with an emerald shiner or you know any minnow that you want to attach to there. And I highly recommend trying it out. If you're looking to just do something a little traditional, basic, you know, this is a very good lure to try it out. Number five, we have the Mr. Champ Cast Champ Cast Master. Again, in my bourbon video, I had no idea what to call it because there's so many different types of lures that look just like this. So we're just gonna refer to it as the Mr. Champ because that's what I've known it as growing up. It's a very, very great option if you're looking to just do some simple jigging all day long. It's got a great heavy weight to it that lets you get down there fast. It's really fun to rip this lure, giving it really fast jigs. It has a darty action as well, like the ice jig but it's a little bit more dense and shaped differently. So it does have a different action. It's not as darty, but it also has this prism tape uh, attached to it that creates an insanely amount of, like an insane amount of shine that uh, I've seen on my aqua view and it's like, it can blind you. If, the, if it gets close and hits the right angle, it's so bright. So it really attracts those fish in down below and it really looks like a, you know, real bait fish if it's on its side, but obviously you're not using it on the side when you're vertical jigging. And when you gradually uh, lift it up, it does have a spin motion to it. And when you drop it down, it flutters down. So it's got all sorts of different motions to it, depending on how you're using it. And just like the ice jig, I would highly recommend using a trailer hook on it with a dead minnow on it. It'll create such a higher hookup ratio and it also will get a lot more strikes on your bait. So I highly recommend trying this lure for a good, it's a very good starter lure, I will say that. A lot of people will like to use this bait to start out. It's heavy, it lets you feel more. And it's definitely a all round good lure to use. And finally, for number six is the traditional tube jig. I've caught a couple fish on the tube jig. I know a lot of people use it and they catch tons of fish on uh, tube jigs. So I'm not gonna knock it and say that it's not a good lure. I know a lot of people catch tons on these. Um, I usually opt to fish with my other lures and I've always had success with them, so I never really want to change. But tube jigs are definitely high up there on the Lake Choke target list. You know, people go out all the time using the same jig heads, same tube jigs, same spoons, and they catch tons of fish. But I like to try and do something, you know, different from everybody else. I like to use different lures that not everybody are fishing with. So tube jigs are a great option if you're looking to catch some lake trout and, you know, pretty much know that you will catch some. But the other lures that I am showing you guys, you know, they're something different that you might not have thought of trying. So this is a great option if you're just looking to go out, have some fun with your friends, catch some fish. You, know, you can guarantee you're going to catch something on this uh, at the end of the day. So obviously if you're fishing a non-pressured lake, a tube jig is always going to catch you more fish than, you know, pretty much anything else. But if you're fishing a pressured lake, majority of anglers for lake trout are going to be using tube jigs. So I guess they kind of understand after time the fish will adapt to, you know, seeing what people are using. But at the end of the day, I find something a little bit more unique, kind of creates a little bit more reaction from the fish. Um, but a tube jig is definitely a great lure to use. So you can definitely try out tube jig in the future. And it's a very good lure to try. Now that's all for this video, folks, covering my favorite lures to use for lake trout. Before the video ends, I would like to say that you can use these lures in open water and through the ice, but this video was primarily uh, directed towards ice fishing. I highly recommend that if you do plan on lake trout fishing, doing it through the ice is the best option. You can get so much more accessibility, get right on top of those fish, you know where they are, and you'll catch a lot more fish than you probably will with a boat, in my opinion. I know a lot of people can go out and downrig in the summer and they'll crush lakers, big ones, but for me, ice fishing is just so much more fun and you can try all different things when you're ice fishing because you can do something aggressive, you can do something slower, you know, you can use uh, aqua views and all sorts of different sonars and everything like that. So it's a lot more fun. All the lures that I've shown you guys in this video will be down in the description below so you can pick one up for yourself if you like the sound of the lure. So I hope you folks enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like and comment what other species you would like to see me do for a future Top Lures video. And remember folks, hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot to me and it would really help support my channel. So I hope you guys have a good one. Good luck this ice fishing season and take care.